Every year when we're submitting our operating budget, we take into consideration our needs in terms of new officers, new police positions, and new civilian positions, which is something that we did this year. Um, we did have some submissions internally that we reviewed, and we made the decision that uh, moving into 2018, this was not the time to move forward with requesting new positions. What we're going to do is look at a couple of other alternatives with respect to trying to reduce the number of calls for service that our frontline officers are attending. And we're going to do this through the telephone reporting system that we hope to have up and running uh, January 1st of 2018. And also possibly enhance our online reporting system to allow additional types of calls to be taken over the internet as opposed to sending officers um, in person to attend these calls. We're also wanting to look possibly at some administrative type of um, items that our officers have to deal with in terms of paperwork and report writing and so on and see if there's some way that we can take some of that um, burden off of their shoulders to free them up with uh, more free time uh, working out on the street. And how, how much um, was this influenced by what's obviously a budgetary crunch here at the city? Well, we were certainly aware of the budget situation that the city is facing, that the whole province is facing, so we took that into consideration. But at the end of the day, it's our responsibility to present a budget to the board that we believe that we need moving forward into 2018, and that's what we did today. And uh, how, how confident are you? You said something that's really struck me, that the violent crime is getting more violent than it has been in the past. How confident are you that you can uh, deal with that with no new officers next year? Well, I'm confident that we can deal with it with our existing officers. We're all, uh, obviously constantly assessing what's going on in the city in terms of crime, in terms of property crime and violent crime. And we'll uh, address the issues as we need to in terms of if we have to move officers around to address it, we certainly will. So we can certainly, um, we, we put it this way, we have tools that are on our tool belt that we can use to react to changing crime trends as well.